uh, a couple of months ago, we made uh, a video how to open the violin. It became very popular. The thing is that after I have opened this violin, then I realized I don't have enough tool to repair the crack top. Okay, the reason we opened the violin because we have a crack here. Before that, I just give a few uh, explanation why the violin cracks. Okay, there are many reasons. If the violin is not dry enough, if the wood is not dry enough, after you made the violin, if the violin is glued very firmly here, so if you go from a wet uh, climate, I mean uh, the humidity level is high, and go to a dry area, the humidity level is low, then the top will shrink, will go smaller. And if you use weak glue here, it will open naturally, so which is good. So it's good to open. But if not open here, if it's so strong glue, then you have a crack here. This happens very often with new violin from uh, wet area to dry area. And also, you have to be very careful if you go doing recording at a st uh, recording stu uh, studio. Recording studio is very dry. Also, some console hall is very dry. If you do recording for weeks, months, your violin is likely to go crack. I had an Italian violin when I was in China. I was in the orchestra. When I was at the Beijing uh, film studio, make uh, the uh, music for the film, after one month, my Italian violin was, had a crack here. So this is also, I think most of this the case. This violin is from Czech Republic, come to Japan and it has a crack here. Or if your case is not very good, if you have a uh, very weak case, okay, you have a very weak case, and uh, the, the case is, in, is narrow, someone, you know, important that someone sit on it, especially kids, okay, so the weight will go to the bridge, so the case will go to the bridge, and you could crack here. Also, if you drop the violin, of course, it will crack. Or, you have a wife, similar to my ex, who would love to smash violins when she's not happy. Like this one. Okay, I have hundreds of them. <laughs> okay. So if you want to learn how to repair violin, make sure you come to my place I have plenty of broken violins for you to repair. This is one out of hundreds that my wife, I mean my ex-wife, smashed. Okay, so we're going to repair this. And uh, then I realized most of my tools, repair tools, I brought to Shanghai, the workshop. Now I have the problem with my ex-wife, then I cannot get in. I cannot get any of my tools back. Okay, luckily, and I with my student here in Japan, uh, we together, we found a few tools here, which is barely enough to do the job. This is why I can do the work today, with a few of the tools on the table. Okay, why my tape? This is a very old tape. No one is going to buy it, but we're going to make a very good use today for repair this violin. Okay, this is a tool too. So now, I'm talking about the principle. Okay, I'm talking about the principle uh, to repair the violin. First of all, when the violin is cracked like this, and we can put glue inside. Okay, we put, put hide glue inside here. But we have two things we have to care for. First, we want this top and the back the same level. We don't want to twist it. I don't, we don't want this way, okay? We want it exactly the same as before. So we need to have something on top and also something on the back. Then we can go in like this. Okay, you understand? 
Okay, so we need a clamp like this. And uh, I have many, but today I have only three. Okay, I have only three, but I think for this crack, I can do the job for these three. Okay, another thing is that we need this to be close, as close as possible. We need the pressure on this. Now for this, we need something like this. Okay, we need this. We need this. Huh? Also, I have many in Shanghai, but here I only found a few. And also on this side, we need this. Okay, on the on the back, we need it to, to make it stable. But this is for cello, and uh, it's too big for this one, so I have to make it smaller. I will make this smaller, so you can fit this violin. For repair, there are no, or I should say, there are not many uh, special tools, professional tools. Most of them we have to make ourselves. So you have to be very creative to make the tools you need for the job. The thing is that first we must know what we want to do. So we want to do this. We want to do these things. This is why we need this tool. Okay, now I'm going to drill a hole here, so I make it funny. Put it here, so this distance will be smaller, so I can use for violin. This is for cello. Now I make it for violin, and this I'm going to cut it in two pieces. Not my face, but the the, the cover. Okay, uh, I will cut it in two pieces, so I can place one on the top, one on the back, so I can glue it together. So it will be one, so, uh, the same level. Now I make the tools. Start with the tools. Okay. First, come here. Now I I, th I think you understand what I, what I'm talking about, okay? Now I can make it like this, okay? Okay. Now this tool is ready, okay? This set of tool is working. Now I need to make this tool, okay? Make this tool. Please follow me. Just a piece of memory. This is a tape I made in 1994, I think. Now I'm going to cut it. When you uh, use a power tool, uh, make sure don't cut yourself. Okay, most important thing: don't cut yourself. Secondly, uh, never use any power tool by force. So you have to keep the, the machine. This this tool I have been with me for 20 years. Okay, I bought this in Japan 20 years ago. Still with me, still in good condition. So you look after the tool. The tool will look after you. Okay. So this has been one of my best friends. <laughs> I have many tools, power tools. This is one of it. I like very much. I use very much. Okay, this is just fine because it's soft. Okay, soft enough. But uh, if you put put on top and back, clamp it, it will be the same level. Or if you can do it nicely, you sand up a little bit. Okay, it's up to you.
Now it's nice. Okay, nice. Now I show you what to do with this. So one on the back. Okay, one on the top. Then you clamp it. Okay, you got the picture? Then you, you clamp it. Then it, it is the same level. It will not twist like this, okay? Now these are ready. The next is this. I need to make some patch, small patch. Maybe one, two, three, four, but I have only three clamp. Maybe I can use this. Maybe I can use this. Maybe I can use this. I don't know. I have many tools. The things I have uh, workshop in, in Norway, in Tokyo, in Nagoya, at home, Shanghai. I don't know where my tools are. <laughs> they just, you know, everywhere. And this man put so much varnish, I have to clean, clean up the varnish a little bit. Otherwise, uh, it won't go. Oh, this is terrible. Now, I come here to work. I uh, have a few bed for, for the violin, same like, uh, same like this in for cello. Okay, same like this in for cello. I have, have the violin, but I don't know where they are. Couldn't find them. Now, I have just used this. Okay, now I clean clean up this place. You can also scrape us. I don't have a scraper. Where's my scraper? Like this. I have I made this knife myself, like this. You can also scrape like this. Okay. Use any tools you like, just do the job, okay? The purpose is to take the varnish away, don't hurt the wood. Okay, I think that's is enough. We've taken off. Now I make uh, some small. Okay, always put a cushion here to protect the violin. And uh, now I make a few small patch, okay? I think a four will be enough, so I make four. The next you do is that you use a chisel, okay, chisel. Uh, maybe do it here, here, you cut like this, huh? and then you can also cut this side. Okay. Yes, piece of pasta paper on the surface. Then you pull the patch against the surface. Also, make sure you have a cushion. Okay, you have a cushion. You, the grain, the grain. Okay, the grain have to be this way. The top is this way, and the patch is this way. Okay, and you see. Okay. Because the violin is like this, okay? And the patch is straight. 
So we need to do, to do against this and to do sand it so it will match perfectly. Now I have a it angle like this. Okay, one finished. Second one. Third one. Okay, where you put the patch, you should well to sand it, okay? And sand it different places. Mm -hmm. As you can see, many powder come off, okay? The last one. Okay. Now you can see. Now I finished this. The next work, next work is to put a glue inside. Put a glue all the way. Okay. Glue all the way. And you have to go like this, make sure the glue is going in, okay? Hide glue. We use hide glue. Okay, try to open it like this. I'm going to hide glue in like this. Okay, then you do the opposite. Still on this side. Put the hide glue here like this. So if you have a hard blush, I don't have it here. Uh, something small, something very small, you can tin, 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 you can put it in, okay? But I don't have it here, so I just do this. Mm -hmm. Try to get in as much as possible. Okay. Now we can see the glue is in. Okay. No problem. We have plenty of glue. After that, you just uh, clean it up. Clean it. Okay. It's okay to leave it uh, a little bit because uh, high glue you can always uh, use water to clean it up later. Okay. Don't clean up too much. Just like this is okay. Next key point is. The patch. Put a lot of glue on it to leave it for a while. Let the glue soak a little bit. Now, you put one patch here and hold the full wire. Push it down. Mm -hmm. The glue will come out, it's okay. Leave it there, clean up later. Okay, now you have finished the patch. 
we will clean the, the patch after the is dry, after completely finished, we will make, make it look nice. Okay, now this, this job is finished. Now, next is to, uh, to make it stable. Okay, now come here. So this is important to put a little bit of oil on the surface, a little bit of oil. Why? Because you don't want to glue the plastic together with the top. Now you put one on the back, okay, one on the top. Make sure the side with, with oil on this side because you don't want to glue them together, okay? Now put this way, this way, now clamp it. Okay, now I put it. Clamp the patch. Okay, clamp the back patch. Mm -hmm. Don't don't make it so hot that now because we need to go this way, okay? against the, the patch. Uh, I tried to use this one. This is very simple. Going this way, okay. No? It won't work. Now the next job is I have to I have to do this. And this. Mm -hmm. Then I have to bring it just a minute. So let it just like this. It should be all right. Okay. Uh, now we finish our work today. Uh, a grooded patch. I'll put the plastic up, uh, up and down and going this way and this way so it will not uh, change shape. And wait until dry. After dry, I will clean up the top, back, and uh, make uh, the patch here look nice. Then I will put the back on the violin. And finally, I will do the varnish. Okay? That's all for today. The thing is that after I repair, I, the thing is, I, after, after I have rep, uh, sorry, after I have op opened. <laughs> <laughs>